Hey folks, this is Jeff. Before I show you the video of how to use a crock pot, just in case the sound quality is not the best in the world, I'll give you a quick preview of how this can work. You can see here I have a Hamilton Beach six quart crock pot. That's one. So you need that, of course. Two, you don't have to use this, you know, chicken. You can use quail, pheasant, Gordish game hen. Or if you have to use a roasted pan, you can do that too. But for now, I'm using like a six quart crock pot. A friend of mine gave me um, quail. I thought it was pheasant, but it was quail. And a note, just so you know, with quail, they have a lot of bones. So please be careful while eating them. They, would, they taste great. They, create, they taste delicious. But be careful of the bones. It's like almost eating fish in terms of the number of bones you see. The, the meat is delicious. Just watch for the bones. But um, before you can enjoy this, you need like a crock pot, like right here. It could be Hamilton Beach or whatever crock pot you have at home. Um, you use um, from 8, 12, up to 16 ounces of water, you know, for starters. You can take three of the following. You can take one packet of Italian dressing. You can take one packet of ranch dressing. Cup spill over. Thankfully, it's empty. <laughs> It'd be a mess. And one packet of chicken gravy. You combine all three of the dry ingredients into this cup. Okay, you can put this side once you finish combining them between like them and how much water you put in here. You would take um, whatever like fowl, maybe the quail, the pheasant, the chicken, duck, whatever. You put it in the pot. In addition to that, you can pour the mixture of the dry ingredients of the water. You, you can make the sauce, you know, in this cup, you know, like I said, like eight to 12 ounces, maybe 16 ounces of water. You put um, the bird or the fowl in this in the crock pot. You pour the sauce all over it. On top of that, you can add um, two, maybe two bags of stewed vegetables. That'd be great. Well, I can say we'll do something special with that sauce once it's finished cooking. You could take, if I'm correct, you take a little bit of flour and heavy cream mix in there. That's like after you take um, the juices from the crock pot. Like once the, um, it's cooked, you take all the juices and all that. You add um, flour. I think you have, if I'm correct, it's flour, butter, heavy cream. And it makes the sauce a lot thicker. You know, that's like after you cook all this. But meanwhile, um, after you add the, the, um, the bird, the sauce, and the vegetables... Simply, once you plug it in, hit it on low, and walk away. It would take, what, 6 to possibly 12, um, 6 to 10 hours for the thing to cook completely. And believe it or not, once you put it on low, it will cook slowly. I have gone, you know, gone to work and came back and dinner was ready. It's that simple. This is the type of thing you can't mess up. And pretty much there you have it. Like, say, once the, um, the meals cook... You take um, the juices, combine it with, like I said earlier, uh, the flour, the butter, the heavy cream, mix it together, make the sauce heavier. Last but not least, um, the, the one thing to go great with a meal like this would be in addition, like say, to mashed potatoes or rice of any type or any type of pasta. And there you have it, you know. Hopefully the video that comes after it will also help as well. But like I say, if you have a crock pot, do not be afraid to use it. You'd be surprised. This is great if it's just mainly you. If you get like a smaller crock pot, you don't eat too much, that'd be great too. If you're going to serve like a lot of people, you know, this crock pot here, six quarts, that'd be for you. They might have a bigger one. But hope you enjoy. Let's, let's get to it. Hey, folks, this is Jeff. Before I show you the video of how to use a crock pot, just in case the sound quality is not the best in the world, I'll give you a quick preview of how this can work. You can see here I have a Hamilton Beach six quart crock pot. That's one. So you need that, of course. Two, you don't have to use this, you know, chicken. You can use quail, pheasant, Gordish game hen. Or if you have to use a roasted pan, you can do that too. But for now, I'm using like a six quart crock pot. A friend of mine gave me um, quail. I thought it was pheasant, but it was quail. And 
A note, just so you know, with quail, they have a lot of bones, so please be careful while eating them. They, would, they taste great, they, create, they taste delicious, but be careful with the bones. It's like almost eating fish in terms of the number of bones you see. The, the meat is delicious, just watch for the bones. But um, before you can enjoy this, you need like a crock pot, like right here. It could be Hamilton Beach or whatever crock pot you have at home. Um, you use um, from 8, 12, up to 16 ounces of water, you know, for starters. You could take three of the following. You could take one packet of Italian dressing. You could take one packet of ranch dressing. Cup spill over. Thankfully, it's empty. <laughs> It'd be a mess. And one packet of chicken gravy. You combine all three of the dry ingredients into this cup. Okay, you can put this side once you finish combining them between like them and how much water you put in here. You would take um, whatever like fowl, maybe the quail, the pheasant, the chicken, duck, whatever. You put it in the pot. In addition to that, you can pour the mixture of the dry ingredients of the water, you, you can make the sauce, you know, in this cup, you know, like I said, like eight to 12 ounces, maybe 16 ounces of water. You put um, the bird or the fowl in this in the crock pot. You pour the sauce all over it. On top of that, you can add um, two, maybe two bags of stewed vegetables. That'd be great. Well, I can say we'll do something special with the sauce once it's finished cooking. You could take, if I'm correct, you take a little bit of flour, and heavy cream mix in there. That's like after you take um, the juices from the crock pot. Like once the, um, it's cooked, you take all the juices and all that. You add um, flour. I think you have, if I'm correct, it's flour, butter, heavy cream. And it makes the sauce a lot thicker. You know, that's like after you cook all this. But meanwhile, um, after you add the, the, um, the bird, the sauce, and the vegetables... Simply, once you plug it in, hit it on low, and walk away. It would take, what, 6 to possibly 12, um, 6 to 10 hours for the thing to cook completely. And believe it or not, once you put it on low, it will cook slowly. I have gone, you know, gone to work and came back and then it was ready. It's that simple. This is the type of thing you can't mess up. And pretty much there you have it. Like, say, once the, um, the meal is cooked... You take um, the juices, combine it with, like I said earlier, uh, the flour, the butter, the heavy cream, mix it together, make the sauce heavier. Last but not least, um, the, the one thing to go great with a meal like this would be addition, like say, to mashed potatoes or rice of any type or any type of pasta. And there you have it, you know. Hopefully the video that comes after it will also help as well. But like I say, if you have a crock pot, do not be afraid to use it. You'd be surprised. This is great if it's just mainly you. If you get like a smaller crock pot, you don't eat too much, that'd be great too. If you're going to serve like a lot of people, you know, this crock pot here, six quarts, that'd be for you. They might have a bigger one. But hope you enjoy. Let's, let's get to it. First, you need a cup of water. And you want a solo cup. Next, you add the ranch dressing, which goes all in. Add the chicken gravy. Stir it thoroughly. Then stir the mixture all together. combination of um, the ranch, the Italian dressing, and the chicken or turkey gravy. Trust me, it will come out good. You think the chicken tastes good? You have yet to experience life until you try pheasant. Oh yes, it's that good. Okay, next, add the frozen pheasant. I was fortunate enough to have a friend of mine who lives across the street from me who hunts pheasants. So I take this pheasant out. 
Yeah, try to do this with one hand. Now you can see if we're doing if we're doing like this. This is just very much to yeah. Hold on a sec. There we go. Speed past this real quick. Okay, there's your frozen vegetables. Okay, we got a lot of it here. Okay, the frozen vegetables. You could probably add more later on when it melts more because this is mostly frozen stuff. I might have put this back in the refrigerator for a little bit. So now this would do. And while you're at it, Feel free to pour sauce throughout the whole thing here. See any extras? And okay, so pour a little bit more in there. That should be it. Cover it up as best you can. Set it on low. Well, first we're gonna plug it in. Okay, I keep warm. Set it on low. The best thing about these crock pots, you can set it like say, like say, like say, I'm about to go to work and leave here like at 3:30 in the morning. By the time I get back, which be like about. 12 hours later, dinner will be ready. As long as you have it set it on low, it's going to cook slowly and it tastes so, so good. If you don't believe me, be back in about 8 to 10 hours. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. A few hours later, and this is looking good. I got um, the second packet of frozen vegetables in there. It looks good, it smells good. And I wait to try it. Hey guys, it's me Jeff. Now, earlier you saw the um, finished product of um, the pheasant and vegetable stew crock pot. This is the carrots, potatoes, and the pheasant itself. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to see how it tastes. I'm going to react to this. I had stuff like this before, I enjoyed it. And it's always a good experience for a crock pot, so the moment of truth. Okay, so the lights down. Yeah, here we go. Put up a shot. First, get it. Carrot. Mmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, one of the potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Hot, but mmm. Good. Mmm. 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 Maybe the other potato. Give this a try. Other potato. Mmm. 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 Those vegetables was the opening act. This pheasant here. This is the main star. Mmm. Here it goes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yes. It's good stuff. Mm. I need to make some rice, mashed nice potatoes. It will go perfect with this as well as the sauce. This is good. So in closing, the pheasant stew in the crock pot was great. All you need is um, some frozen stew vegetables, pheasants or chicken or turkey, whatever like um, birds you can get in the crock pot. You can use either A, the Italian dressing, ranch, and uh, chicken gravy, or, or some stores. They have a complete 
stew kit. It comes with the meats, the vegetables, and the spices to make the sauce. Incredible. If I see it again, all these, I'm bringing home, I'll show you. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content, hit subscribe. If you want to see more up and coming, up and coming content, hit the notification bell. But most importantly, tell a friend. Thank you. This is Jeff. Take care. God bless.